Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Uh, I'd like you to I'd like to walk you through an issue that I've covered once before, and uh, it just happened to me again. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's revisit this. It's been a while, and I titled this uh, "When Auto Magic Becomes Auto Tragic." In this case, it's a driver update issue. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump right into it, and um, you'll see how obvious this is in just a few moments. So there's my uh, Wi-Fi adapter on my new laptop, and it was working okay, but it was kind of um, experiencing issues where it would disconnect or become unstable for no apparent reason, and, and I don't know why. And my other uh, laptop, my older laptop, it was fine. It was rock solid. So it wasn't the Wi-Fi network. It was something with the computer. So off I went to the card uh, in my computer, and I clicked on the driver tab, and I click update driver. And I'm sure everybody's done that at some point. And it pops up with the lovely little wizard saying, hey, how do you want to go find this software? And I search automagically for the software. Sure enough, off it goes. It goes online looking for the software. Microsoft comes back and says, hey, guess what, Tony? The best driver software for your device is already installed. And I thought, oh, yeah, wait a minute. I've been through this before. Let me get a second opinion and go directly to Intel since it's an Intel adapter and let's see what it has to say. So I went to Intel and I searched for 7260 which is the model of my Wi-Fi adapter and it came back with several options here from ranging from Windows 8.1, 7 and 10 and I'm currently running 8.1. So I thought alright let me just click on that and see what happens and sure enough it came up with 8.1 and this is a more current version of software and I thought hmm isn't that interesting so I um, downloaded the file and I just wanted to briefly tell you something that I learned which is kinda cool uh, there's four options here and some of the differences are obvious for example 32 versus 64 is telling you it's 32 bit or 64 bit but the other one the other difference which is kinda cool the DE versus the Win32 or the Win64 the big difference there is the DE is the driver only and um, the Win32 or Win64 gives you the actual Intel software to do a bunch of other stuff if you're interested in that. But the interesting thing is when you get the DE file and you double click on it, it just silently updates your driver. It doesn't prompt you for anything. There's no install wizard or nothing. Uh, I didn't realize that, so I actually clicked on it a few times before I actually realized it did something. So just so you know, there's, there's nothing that actually pops up when you do that. So there we go. So now I've updated my driver and now it's version 18 and it's got a driver date of 2015 so I've been using this driver now for about a week and my laptop has not once dropped off the network or become unstable hope that helps have a good day bye for now